Christophe Soumillon needs little introduction. At the age of 33, he has already won most of the world's big races, and he currently holds down two of the best jobs in the game, as retained jockey for the Aga Khan in Europe and riding for Mike de Kock here in Dubai. Sparing us a few minutes on his day off earlier this week, we caught up with Christophe to talk Vercingetorix, Epiphania, and why he's given Messia a home for life. So well done, Christophe. A good week for you last week at the Carnival, and I suppose we'll start with talking about Vercingetorix. I mean, it looked easy. Did it feel easy? Yeah, listen, uh, the race was uh, very uh, light finish. Uh, we just have six runners, so it was... Uh, Quite easy for him for his first start to 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 be in a comfortable position. Um, when I came in the straight, I, I saw that I was going much easier than anyone. Uh, for sure, he needs a run, so I was taking my time. But when I asked him to to respond, he just flies away and he, he won really easily. Uh, impressive run from him since uh, last year. Hmm. It's his first start since I think last April, so he, he guess will probably come on from the run. Yeah, for sure he will improve a lot, like all uh, horses for for Mike. Uh, uh, the good thing is that uh, he feels much stronger this year, and uh, yeah, we will arrive uh, on his next race on Super Saturday with a lot of confidence and uh, with a, a very fresh horse as well. So we're just gonna see what's gonna happen in the duty free because. For sure, uh, last year was just a way that just won by five, six lengths so easy. We couldn't expect a, a better place than second, but uh, anyway, uh, this horse, the horse, looks uh, a little bit stronger, so I hope uh, he's going to arrive uh, even better on the, on the duty free. Did you expect to win the duty free last year? I was, I was hoping because he was an unbeaten horse. Uh, we never asked him too much in training uh, because he was improving after each run. Uh, I knew that the Japanese horse was a very strong horse, but I didn't expect he, he beat me that way. Uh, because uh, when I came in the straight, I was cruising and I thought uh, I will fight for the win. But uh, in 50 yards, I just have to to, to think about the second place. And uh, it's what he did, he ran very well. And uh, unfortunately, after that, he was probably a bit uh, tired for Hong Kong. But uh, I think this year we know him better and we're going to bring him uh, even better for these kind of races. You also won nicely on uh, Cladda Terra in the, uh, in, in the Cape Verde. How good do you think she could be in time? Listen, uh, she's a filly that didn't run too much in France. Uh, she won the first two runs uh, with a nice listed race performance. Unfortunately, she, she hurt herself just afterwards, so she had some bad performance. But uh, last run in England uh, on the all weather was quite good. Um, she was here in the paddock, uh, looks the nicest filly and, uh, and the strongest. She won quite easy. Uh, I know the trainer, and I know he's always giving the horses 65%, uh, 70% of fitness before the first run. So I, I think she's going to improve a lot on that run. Uh, next time she's going to run probably with the same fillies, uh, mm. but she's going to have to wait, to wait uh, one and a half kilo more. But the way she won, I think if she improves on it, she it will be fine to to fight for the the first place again. She's got to go a little bit further, another furlong in, in the Balanchine. Is that going to be an issue? Um, we're going to have to be a bit worried about it because uh, she looks like more seven furlong to a miler. But if the ground is quick and uh, it's a decent pace and she, if she's relaxed, she should be all right. Your other winner was Umgio. He came home very fast uh, indeed. Did he surprise you at all? Yeah, he surprised, uh, I think, all the team uh, because he was working well at home. It was a, a nice horse we all like. When I was in the race, last in that position, uh, I just thought we we're going to finish third or second or maybe fourth, but I didn't expect for the win. But uh, hopefully that day the pace was quite good and uh, it gave me the chance to come back from the last position. It's never easy on that track, but uh, he has a good turn of foot and uh, he surprised me uh, in that way because he really won the race like a future group one horse. Yeah. Hmm, okay, so you think he could just easily take the, the step up to group level? Yeah, if, 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 if he's still uh, walking like he, he does here uh, since he arrived, uh, I would not say he's as good as Versing Gatorix at the moment, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, the way he won, uh, I think he's improving horse. He can do like Sun Shao did last, last year, win maybe another handicap and then go for, for, for a great race on Super Saturday.
As it stands in, in the World Cup itself, you'll be on Epiphania for uh, for Japan, obviously the, the Japan Cup winner. How good do you think he is uh, compared with some of the other, other I think he's, he's really good, but he's a very difficult horse um, to manage in a race. Uh, so as well, he's going to run for the first time on the dirt. So it's uh, a different point. It's going to be 2000 meter as well. Mm -hmm. So, so many new things are going gonna, gonna to arrive for him here. So we'll see, but uh, you know the World Cup this year is going to be a tough race uh, because it's going to have to to be run like uh, American style race, and uh, if you have a horse missing the the, the jump, uh, and if if you have a bad go draw, I think it's going to be hard to to make something nice, especially with a horse like him that can be very strong in the race. But yeah, the the way he won the Japan Cup, he looks like a top top three horse in the world, so it's good enough to win uh, the World Cup here. But yeah, so many new things uh, will arrive for him and and uh, we, we, we never know, but uh, he surprised me so much in the Japan Cup. I hope he will do the same in a few few weeks now. Because that was a very good Japan Cup, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a very strong Japan Cup and uh, the way he pulls all the time, uh, I couldn't believe he will be able to uh, react in the straight like he did. and. Uh, he really smashed the whole field and uh, that day was quite impressive. But like I said, he's giving every time uh, a lot of potential in, in his races. And I hope with a little rest now he will arrive here with a little bit of freshness and, uh, and be able to, to fight with the best horses uh, on that surface. How have you been finding the dirt so far? Because obviously you've ridden on it in the past, but it's been a while for us here. Yeah, it's like uh, Mike says, uh, I'm not the, the, the one who's going to say it's the best track. Uh, what, what I'm doing first is riding for my horses and make them finish the race. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I ride a few horses that coughing in the turns, had a lot of kickback and they're coughing a lot after the race. So it's not a complaint, but for me, the, this kind of track are not uh, suiting the horses really well. So I prefer to don't have too many rides on, on the surface and same Mike wants to protect his horses. So we stay on the, on, on the turf. Uh, but there is some races like the three years old, we have to run the guineas and the derby on this surface. So we're going to go for it. Or we have maybe one or two horses in the yard are made for, for that surface. But for the rest, I think we're going to preserve them on, on the turf. That The condition at the moment is quite perfect. So I just hope uh, yeah, the thing will, will go better and better. But like any new surface, when you, 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 you have to find exactly what to do to, to make him getting better. But uh, for sure, I'm a Euro European jockey. I'm not used to, to ride on a lot of on uh, dirt surface, but I ride in America and Japan and Hong Kong and in Saudi Arabia on this kind of tracks. But uh, this one is quite, for me, f difficult for the horses to, 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 to run well and especially to come back uh, for, from the, the back of the field. Mm, yeah, quite a few people have, have said that. Yeah. You ride obviously all over the world. You've got one of the best jobs in, in European racing with the Aga Khan. How big a part of your year is, is Dubai and your job here with, with Mike and Sheikh Khalifa? You know, it's here uh, some kind of, uh, of uh, important work and uh, I will say a half holiday because uh, you have the, the pleasure to be over here. We, we're working here as a team with Mike and all the, all the staff. So, yeah, I'm working, I'm riding just one time a week so uh, I can spend some time with my family when they're over. I can go playing golf and enjoying time. So it's good to be uh, yeah, a little bit relaxed for, for a few weeks and then go back in Europe and work hard again. But uh, Dubai is very important for me now since uh, for three, four years. Um, before I was supposed to go in Hong Kong or, or Japan, but these kind of places ask you a lot of uh, of um, sacrifice, especially uh, me for the weight, because uh, I have to ride over there between 54 and 55 kilos, something uh, I can't do really easily when you have just two meetings uh, a week. Uh, so I think now the, the best option for me is, is Dubai. So I just enjoy it and uh, uh, I hope we, we, we're going to do as much season as we can, like we did for the last four or five years. And I think all the team is happy with it. and. Uh, the most important now will be to, to win big ones on, on, the, on the big night, but we do every year some good carnival, so it's good to be here. And uh, like I said, the team is something here uh, that you've never seen before mm. and you can't find anywhere in the world. Uh, Mike is a, a great trainer, but a great person as well. And uh, he shares everything with uh, all his staff and uh, we are all like brothers and uh, he doesn't look at us from the top and I uh, think he's more important than, than us, even if he is. 
but uh, yeah, I like the way uh, of thinking. These people have a good, a good way of seeing life and, uh, and enjoyed it. You're 33 now, I, th I think. You seem like you've been around forever. How much longer do you think you'll carry on riding for? Um, it's a <laughs> difficult question to answer. I think we are like every sportsman. When you have the passion, when you have the the, the chance to, to compete on the highest level, um, I think you can ask any jockeys like Mick Kinen or even Frankie, the, the Tory at the moment. Uh, what, when you can ride champion horses and uh, and win big races all around the world, I think you don't want to stop. Uh, if you uh, if you doesn't have any injuries or you don't scare about anything, then you just want to keep going. Um, I think my my target will be uh, my weight. Uh, if I can drop my weight like one kilo in in the next five years, uh, that will be easier for me to to ride every day in France and. Uh, over here and don't have to, to think too much because I think this is the, the main problem for for me. But I think, yeah, I can go until 2025. Um, my main target will be to, to win the mo most championship as possible in France and win all the biggest races in the world. So since I don't win yeah, the World Cup or Epsom Derby, this kind of races, I will try to to, to get it, but it's never easy. Uh, you need the horse, the trainers and the owners to follow you. But we'll see, and if, if I feel fit and good, maybe I will go forward than that. But you, you never know exactly uh, what, what's going to happen in your, your career. I was riding uh, yeah, a few years ago uh, in other countries. I never expect I will come here for, for Mike, so everything changed, and uh, you just have to take uh, things where, how they come. You know? Has the Aga Khan got any derby horses, any, any particularly exciting three horses? Uh, at the moment uh, we have some nice fillies, but uh, we don't have uh, some colts that uh, run great at two. Uh, but you know, in this um, uh, breeding uh, there is a lot of horses arriving at, at three years old. So uh, I want some big races for them uh, with horses just to have the first one in April at the three. At three so We'll see, but at the moment, yeah, we don't have a uh, big expectation uh, like we could have it uh, the year for, of Dalakani or Zakava because they won both uh, nice group ones at two years old. But anyway, uh, we're there for, for a few years now and uh, we're going to work hard to to same to make things uh, building up uh, piece by piece. And uh, in the end, I hope I will be able to, to, to win some great races like I did before for them. But. Yeah, we, I've already the trust from all the team and, uh, and, and the owner, so it's already something very important. Before I let you go, I must ask about uh, Masia, who you've got back at home. How did that come about? Um, you know, it's a horse that I always uh, respecting a lot because uh, he's the one make me uh, become uh, popular here in, in Dubai. Uh, I won with him the derby and uh, I always love him because uh, He's a type of horse, very intelligent, and uh, he's, a, he's a smart boy. And um, since a few years here, I was always playing with him around in the, in the yards and everything, like a, like a dog. And uh, I, I say to, to Mike, uh, I couldn't expect he, he will be infertile. Mm. So he was going back to Australia, and unfortunately, he couldn't uh, produce. So uh, when he was coming back here for, for training, he won uh, some, some nice good races and uh, afterwards uh, he heard himself. So I said to Mike, listen, when uh, he will go to, to retirement, I would love to, to have, it ha have him at home. So he just asked to the check. Uh, in the end, if he doesn't want to, to go for breeding again, to give it to me. And uh, finally, uh, one morning, uh, the horse arrived at home. <laughs> and uh, now he's, uh, I think, one of the, the happiest horse because we're playing around with him like uh, like uh, yeah, our pet and my kids riding him and my wife as well and we really have a good time we're traveling around uh, the places with him and he really like to to come with us and we're enjoying him so much so yeah he, he gives me so much uh, pleasure that uh, I'm giving back uh, what he deserves. Have you turned him out with any mares? See what happens? No, no, I will, <laughs> it will not happen. Uh, I want him to have a, a cold brain because <laughs> we, we didn't geld him because he's a nice, nice horse. Uh, uh, like this, so I don't want him to, to change his mentality. Already was hard for him to, to go to stud and mm. come back afterwards to, to become a racehorse again. And he did it great, so I just want to, to have him on my side and make him enjoy life because uh, he deserves it so much.